Hello, Adnan. Hello, my friend. Hello, MC. Hello, Bell, Edgar. Good morning to you. Almost good evening to me. Previous years was t-shirt. Just you need to check the store, my friend. Hello, Sean. Hello, Mike. Hello, Pound, Tom. Um, Anurag. Sorry, guys, I cannot read very well. Hello, GB19. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your um, support. Oh, Jones, next opponent we didn't set yet. Hello, Brad Butler. Gloria, Dungeon, Master. Hello, Merava. Hello, Lagia. Engin Turbo, hello. And practice. Uh, okay. I get it. I get it. Uh, appointments with the eye doctor. So soon I will have this problem fixed. Current Devon for six reps. Yeah, I saw the video. Hello, Drunk Eddie. Maybe if I look at from my phone. It will be better, probably. Let's see. I will check. I don't know. You need to ask to uh, Devon. Hello, Gabriel. Hey, Victor. Hello, Draghi Svetanovsky. Oh, do you guys want sleeves? I thought you wouldn't want that. Yes, everything is good. Okay. Um, yes, East versus West special guest is uh, Andrei Pushkar's wife and his son. They will be they will be present in the belt. <clears throat> hey, John. How are hey, you? how's it going? Everything is good. Everything is good. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah. Before we get started, um, it, phone this way or this way? No, no, opposite way. Opposite way. But we started already. Yeah, yeah. This this way though. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one's yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to, so I don't have to hold this thing this the, the whole time. I'll try to figure out this mount. I haven't used the uh, the cell phone in a long time. So when I got your your thing and it said uh, only only good on mobile, I thought, oh shit, hurry up, get this. Oh, I, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. So, yeah. No worries. See so, if you I don't have to hold it. Hold it, right? You can put somewhere and then it can stay. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. My, my left will be my right arm and my right will be my left arm because I'm doing a selfie, right? Um, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Sh show me your right arm now. I will tell you. No, that's correct. Yeah. That, so that it looks Correct like one. my right arm. That's your. Yeah, yeah, this is your right arm. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. So how's it going? I probably. I don't know how about, I um, turn the e e Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yeah. Um. I was gonna ask you. You said that you just joined a training recently and you felt good. Um, do Do I remember correct? Or no, you know, I, I haven't done anything. I have not really touched a table other than a few amateurs um, uh, since my match with uh, Krazy. I haven't, I haven't really done anything. In fact, I had, I really hadn't done anything three, four weeks before I pulled Krazy. Um, just trying to rest up mm -hmm. after, um, you know, 
my previous match um, with Sasho. So, yeah, no, I've been uh, I'm just doing kind of a long term, put no pressure on my shoulder, yeah. just the to see thing. how it goes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not pulling in April, and um, yeah, I mean, August is quite a ways away. So I decided instead of instead of forcing it and trying to stay in shape with you know arm wrestling, I, I was going to try to yeah. get my shoulder a, a, a chance to really completely heal. So I haven't really done anything. So. Yeah, but I think that's the best thing to do. Just you pull whenever you feel ready. Not not like we pull, we put you set here match and then you try to get ready. I don't yeah. think it, it makes sense. I think you need to get ready and then we set the match. Yeah, I yeah. mean, like whenever you feel ready. No, it's been uh, arthritis has definitely been uh, more and more of a problem as I've gotten gotten more involved in the sport and and probably due to my age, right? But um, yeah, I'm almost kind of on, on the, in the camp of. Of doing other exercises, getting away from the, uh, the the just arm wrestling for getting in shape and, and doing just a lot of hand and wrist and forearm and elbow stuff and, and trying mm -hmm. to really limit my limit the exposure that my shoulder has been getting, you know, by arm wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I had a hair transplantation. <laughs> oh, I see that. Yeah, you get a little darker yeah, up there. But yeah, but but it, it just comes first and then it, it drops. And then it comes back again, you know. So now I feel like it's going away now. But, okay. but this, this is what they told me. First it comes and then it goes. But the roots stay. But somehow it looks like you know, it's cut. Whenever I sleep, I wake up on the pillow. I see it's like they are like like one centimeter cut hair, you know. It just okay. falls. And I was yeah, yeah. worried, you know, like what's happening, you know. And I talk with them and they explain to me it's uh, every, everything is fine. But now it's going a little bit away, yeah. Okay. So is your procedure yeah. done? You, what, what, when did you have that done? A couple months ago, or uh, three weeks ago? Three weeks ago? No, wow. no, no, probably four four weeks ago. Monday okay. will be four weeks. Monday, two days later will be four weeks. So nineteen okay. days, yeah. And one they, one procedure, and you're done. It's that's they just yeah, yeah, it. yeah. But it, 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 like I enter there and get out, it was thirteen hours. Oh, and is it is it painful or? I mean, the only part painful was the the, the injection, so that you wouldn't feel the pain. Okay. And the, the the injection probably somewhere else in my body wouldn't be that hurtful, but the, the thin skin on the head, it, right. it, is, it is painful, yeah. But and, so, only, and then all, after the numbing agent, then they're putting like actually needling you with yeah, plugs. Yeah, there. yeah. First, 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 they they um, I think took the uh, hair from back sides everywhere, and okay. then here they made some you know places to plant them. Uh, and, okay. then, and then they put it like 4,600 of them or something. This is what they oh, wow. Yeah. oh, wow. Yeah, that would yeah. be a long procedure. Unless it's some, unless it's yeah. some automated machine that... Yeah, sure no, they're... no, no. They just it's do it one by one. It's one by one. my hand, huh? Oh, man. <laughs> That's why it was so long. Kind yeah. of my neck hurts, you know. But it, you, should, you, should, you should have told them to just put you to sleep. Wake you up when it's done. <laughs> yeah. I think I fell asleep a few times. Uh -huh. um, so I, I, I wouldn't want to bother them by possible snoring or something you know, because your, your, your head is just going back anyway so um what was i gonna say anyway so they told me to not to train for one month but i just started a few days ago so i, I could only wait for like two weeks you know but okay after. what do yeah. you uh what's your what's your plans are you have a do you have a match um, in mind that you're trying uh, to shoot I, mean, for? I am in this same exact position as you are yeah. Like I, I want to just start training, training, be pain yeah. free, get into shape, no pressure. Because if I have like put something that I, I'm pushing myself and it gets worse, so just slow by slow, yeah, everything is better, you know. Yeah, yeah. No. I, it's <laughs> yeah. People, people give me advice all the time. You need to do this. You need to do that. I'm like, okay, listen, I <laughs> I've been doing this for forty years. When I have a hard time pushing myself out of bed, it's not it's not due to the lack of of wanting to try or train. It's it's my body just not you know it's just hurting and it's 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 difficult to to balance on that 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 line. They'll understand. I was, they get, they get I, I was two days ago. I was I was uh, the goat. Our missing goat was my guest. Uh, okay, Mindago Sarasaitis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah, and yeah. then he told he 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 told me that like you and anyone else we were getting injured because like we didn't know how to train, you understand? Like, and I I explained to him that like listen, like I gave your example that I said like John is a 85, 90, 95 kilo guy, most of your career, right? I mean, you're gonna pull Cliff Dean, Richard Lapkus, 
Yeah. Gary Goodish, Alan Karev, Dennis Pushkar, all of those guys you're gonna pull, and you are not gonna have any damage, overuse damage. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, to be quite to be quite honest with you, Ingen, I don't, I don't, I think I've skirted most of the really heavy physical damage. I, I can't really. I mean, yes, I've got little, you know, muscle tears and little tendon tears, but th- those things are all healed up. You know, I think stronger. So. To say that I didn't do the right things to stay healthy and not hurt myself, I, I, I would argue that I, you know, I, I escaped big injuries for most of my career. Um, mm-hmm. But, I mean, you just, you're not going to be able to escape arthritis. I mean, that, you know, everybody gets, well, not everybody gets that, but if you're genetically, mm-hmm. you know. But, but don't, you, don't you think that overuse, overuse, like, like whenever you, you do something overuse, then like there is a damage that it's yeah, not yeah, the yeah. damage of, of just of, one thing. Of course. Yeah. Of course. But I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the effects now. Um, you know, even in my left arm, my left shoulder, which I pretty much have not done very much arm wrestling throughout my career. But I mean just a little bit here and there, but it's the the left shoulder is just getting as bad as the right shoulder. So it's um I think it's I, more I, I than, think, But John, I think that like whenever I'm training if I'm not really pushing my limits, I feel better. When there is a blood circulation, is better. But whenever you don't do anything, that, that thing that you experience is just even like like it's everything hurting. is hurting. Everything. But yeah. you know, but once you do blood blood flowing, it, yeah. it doesn't have to be a hundred percent. You know, just a little bit. Like if you move, if you do a little bit light training, I think I think it's gonna be helpful. You know. Yeah. yeah. Just, no, I agree. I, yeah, right. My mindset right now is like. I got, I got, I got to stop arm wrestling. I got to quit arm wrestling. But I, I know what you're saying. You know, the, the reason mm-hmm. is being that I'm just like picking up a, a gallon of milk. I'm going, oh my god, that's <laughs> that's no, not but easy. I tell you something. If you every, every day five kilo, ten kilo, a little right. bit shoulder or something, I, I think that you know the things will be better. You like whenever you don't do anything at all, and suddenly even you have a gallon of milk or something, it's, it still will hurt. You know, but, but right. if you do, if you do every day some training. You know, right. the things, even the metal, whenever it's working, it doesn't get rusty. Right, right. But once it doesn't move, it gets rusty. You know, this is... All right. Well, I, pre- I appreciate the pep talk, and I'll, you know, I'll definitely be <laughs> start, start in slow again here. Maybe in another three, four weeks, another month, I'll give it. And yeah. End of April, so... I mean, just like even now, like five kilo, ten kilo. I think, I think it will, it will make your pain less. My opinion, just but of yeah. course, your your experience may be different than mine. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, did you did you have any chance to uh, see the cards poster, the matches? I, I did, and um, super impressed. I mean, you, you always say this, and I laugh that it's the best card ever. But I think this for sure is the best card ever. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. You yeah. have some monsters going at, at it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Super impressed. Like, uh, they're, they're, every match is a great match. Um, super excited to, to see it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And Jun Jung Won Le, thank you for your support, my friend. Thank you. Um, yeah, but uh, it would be great, you know, if you would be part of it too. But hopefully next it's time. A long, it's a long trip. I, 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 yeah. I would love to. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm sure at some point I'll be missing going back, but um, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Maybe as it gets closer, I'll just jump on a plane and go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're you're more than welcome. People people love your commentating as well, you know. Oh yeah, did, no. Did, you that. saw yesterday, right? The tweet. The uh, from UFC. yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. What I, what's his involvement with arm wrestling? How does he even know? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. How do you pronounce his name? Shail. Shale, Shale, yeah, I think Shale. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the guy is just probably the most entertaining, super uh, articulate. Yeah. yeah, no, he's a, he's a great great speaker. I mean, he's on the level of uh, McGregor, most, right? As far as it is, probably as exciting. Yeah, he, he would higher about talking. This is yeah, more yeah. like Muhammad Ali level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, ima- imagine him being just. Uh, did you know that? Somehow, you know, we reached him and we invited him here, and he said okay. he will take t- time to think about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd would love to see once he got a little educated over, you know, about the sport and the athletes. I would love to see him as a commentator. Holy cow, yeah. that would, that would increase the the excitement level of of the sport for sure. Yeah, imagine him at the press conference. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, that's, that's, and, I, mean, I, I, I hate, to, hate to say it, but that's what everybody needs. It's, it's it's a shame that you know most of the arm wrestlers don't have that type of personality. 
Um, yeah. Because yeah, it would definitely bring the uh, entertainment value up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would be incredible, yeah. Anyway, so I would like to talk about the matches, you know, at least uh, some of them that you are familiar. I'm sure you are familiar with everyone, but... Um, like okay let let's let me still ask you all of them and then you can tell me if you are familiar or not but yeah, you know I, all, I, all I, the guys are world champion but sorry. yeah yeah of course i you know i've seen most of their you know up matches a lot of these guys i've seen but i've, I've not had first hand experience to really grip up with them to see there's you know Okay, one of them. One of them. The, let's start from is Nugo Shikadze. It's Nugo Shikadze from Georgia. Okay. And before the pandemic, he was a youth category puller. He was very strong. Okay. And now he came to the Europeans because Georgia was like kind of banned by WAF or something, you know. And then they didn't compete like for three years or okay. or, or two years, yeah. And then he came at the last Europeans and he top rolled. Cross him in strep. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. He, wow. he toppled cross him in strep. He he really bent his, his wrist. wrist off, right? Yeah, popped his wrist and then and beat him. Yeah, he beat him twice. Okay. So so and but he's opening. So anyone who is top rolling cross him in strep must have something very strong here. A very strong top roll. Very, sure. Yeah, yeah. And his opponent. Whenever I say his opponent, then you will also say that it is very very hard to top roll this guy. This is Petro Makarins. Do you remember oh, him? Good. Oh yeah, of course I remember him <laughs> from Moldova. Yeah, no, that guy's uh, that guy's got like a twenty-inch forearm. I mean, his 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 cupping ability yeah. is incredible for putting people in a hook. Yeah, yeah, um, first, yeah. So I do have first-hand experience with with uh, he pronounced his name Petro, right. Petro Makarins. Petro right. Makarins. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well. So yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, who did, who beat him that day in Melbourne? Nobody. 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 He, he, oh, no, he beat Rabaz. Rabaz as well. Oh, he beat Rabaz too. Yeah, right? he, he hooked him. He hooked him. Rabaz, yeah. two months before that event, he had yeah. a war with Levan at the WAF. Okay. And, but this guy just hooked him, you know, with Tauska. Right. So it'll be interesting to see what, what his condition is. Obviously, the, the, the kid that you talk of is is, is current and, and training and pulling and, yeah. and active in, in, in big events and has proven that he's – Definitely capable of top rolling. We'll have to see how um, Morant uh, uh, comes in. I mean, he I haven't seen him since Moldova, so that's what three, four years ago, five yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was ago? it was 2018, so okay. it is a little bit more five than years. five years. Five yeah. years, but Petro Marharin also competed 2022 uh, World Championships. There he beat he beat Krasimir after okay. the war. Oh, okay. And then, like, he got tired and lost a match on fouls and something. So, Krasimir ended up winning the wars while is he Pet was... Uh, Petro, is he from Ukraine? Yes. Where is he from? Ukraine. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Currently still in Ukraine, or...? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Yeah, so you are, what do you think? Is, is It can happen, anything can happen, or...? Well, I just, like I said, it just depends. I mean, five years is a long time to be away from the sport, but I mean, he definitely has the bill and natural ability, probably to just walk off the street and not, you know, not doing anything and still be effective on ninety nine percent of the people. So, um, yeah, yeah. Has I, I have has anybody ever seen him pull? Can he can he adjust and pull uh, if he gets his hand flattened or taken away, even if just flattened, or is he still Pet Petro? Yeah, Petro. I don't remember. Pet I think Petro most likely has the pound for pound strongest cupping. Oh, cupping ability. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of them for sure, you know. Yeah. yeah. That, that is not many people's cupping uh, yeah. impresses me, but this guy is one of them. That for since that time. Mohinder Singh says, I am a big fan of Arsene Lilier. And he said he is a fan of him. Yeah. And he yeah. This is, this is a, his example. We will be talking about that one too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Arsene. Yeah, how how is he doing? I I, I haven't seen your uh, podcast uh, that you guys did like a little four way with um, Brandon and who else was on there? Oh, uh, uh, Matushenko. Matushenko was translator. He oh, he was translator. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the current form of. Uh, he's looking not, massive. Yeah, not he's that massive. bad. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, like I said, it, you know, he he's he's got that natural ability also that he could be away from the sport and and not have done anything and still be probably ninety five percent of the pros already. You know, just from walking off the street doing nothing. So yeah, if he's if he's committed and been been arm wrestling since probably probably the last event that I saw him at East versus West, he was yeah. talking about getting back in shape. You know, it's just not going to take long. He's going to, you know, he's, he still has, he still has that build and he still has that, those tendons and that genetic, genetic uh, ability. So, you, you know, you know, what's coming end of this year, right? Uh, what's it? Oh, you, you're going to match him up against me. You're going to throw this, <laughs> another sacrificial <laughs> listen, lamb listen, sacrifice. Listen, I, I was the one who convinced Alexi Warwater to come back. Oh, okay. And then he pulled twenty years ago. You lost against him, and this time yeah, yeah. You, you beat him. Yeah, and yeah. and now Arsene Lilia he has defeated you three two because yeah. you are so stubborn to just like I'm gonna hook him. I'm gonna hook him without yeah. the step. You know, yeah. like, every time you went to step, you you took him and beat him. And yeah, I don't that wasn't know why. Easy. I, I still can. Yeah. That's that's what that was when my mindset was that I just couldn't beat anybody when I was on the bad side of the strap. So I think I, I was just set on when I got put on the, the wrong side of the straps. I was like, OK, well, I'm going to try to f try to force that hook or get that hook. So, okay. yeah, I should I should have at least attempted one time to try to still battle uh, up top uh, being on the bad side. But, it, it you know, it's head games. It, my mental state wasn't the greatest then, I guess, for for that. I don't know. It wasn't that I was trying to do anything different or special. Or <laughs> you, you are the only one that, in his career, you really, in his weight, you crack his wrist. Stop. He, yeah. yeah. No, you crack his wrist like this. Yeah. He, he also says, up to this day, John Bursing is the only one that cracked my wrist. You know, he, he says that, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and looking at that match, it wasn't so much that I had superior back pressure, it's that I was able to maintain kind of a flat hand and just yeah. and almost threw him sideways. So yeah, you just the side pressure that I was able yeah. to apply took his took his hand. So yeah, yeah no, he's he's, he's got to be one of the very top, top guys. Um, I mean, I would put him up like at the level of Hermes as far as a posting style and Travis, a posting style yeah. top. I mean, there's yeah, not yeah. many people that yeah. have that ability to keep their knuckles high and strong like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, he, be, the guy did in eight years more than many people could do in 30 years, you know. That that eight yeah. years, 2005, 2013, 13, he was just like a wind, you know, from... Yeah. He did yeah. a lot, you know, yeah. 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 Um, well, he, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that um, he learned to develop his strengths. I mean, he, he never really had a super um, big hand, dominant hand in that respect. So he had, to, yeah. he had to pull that way. I mean, his hand was obviously super strong, but not... Yeah. not not dominant where you you know the palm could really take advantage of your yeah your yeah he, he had to rely on that also that small for 400 kilos yeah. his, his hand was yeah. small you know? yeah he was similar to the, even like Gary Goodrich uh, Travis oh even. yeah I yeah. mean yeah. these guys yeah you can adapt <laughs> I remember Gary Goodrich pulling Cleve Dean he was just only holding his thumb <laughs> yeah 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 keeping his knuckles high keeping that back pressure going yeah it's yeah really effective. Mohinder Singh says, please tell Arsene he doesn't need translator. I tried to tell him, my friend, but uh, he does. Yeah, no, I, spoke with, I spoke with him in Istanbul. He he was like normal conversation. I never, I, for, I was forgot for a second that he was Russian. I was like, damn, yeah, Arsene. Yeah. <laughs> he cannot really express deep thoughts, detailed yeah, thoughts, but, but, but he, he but, needs to get used to it. Three years yeah, ago, yeah. Hermes knew nothing about English. He came to Istanbul. Yeah. yeah. He couldn't. Right now, he's yeah. just speaking, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he speaks better than most Americans. <laughs> better than me. I, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sandris from Latvia, Sandris said this, versus Ibrahim Sago. Do you remember Ibrahim the pull against? Yeah, yeah. Scott yeah. Hutchins. Scott Hutchins, yeah. yeah. Super strong in a hook. Yep. And super press. good endurance. I mean, from what I remember, Todd was... Um, long match. To the, to the match. end, to the limit. So... Um, I don't. I don't see him fading. Great match. I mean, uh, you know, one of five. I mean, how how good is this top row? I mean, I don't. I don't see him beating him in a hook, right? I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. It's just awesome. You know, awesome mm -hmm. match. Yeah, two of the two of the very best. At what? What's the weight going to be? Two forty. Well, no, two thirty-one. One of five. 
Because, 231. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sanders is one one oh eight now. He wants to okay. pull one oh five. Yeah, okay. he wants to pull that category. Yeah. And we will see. You know, uh Ibrahim is four times AMC champion, uh, you know, okay. the Russian event, four times okay. champion, and it will be tough. Both are very confident uh, about yeah. that. Yeah. 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 The, I didn't get a chance to pull what's, with, uh, what's his what's his name again? Yeah. Ibrahim or Sanders? Abragama, Abragama, Abragama. Ibrahim, like, Ibrahim, 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 Sago, okay. Sago, Ibrahim, Sago, like, Sago, like, like Sago. in, in yeah. English, his name would be Abraham, Abraham, okay. Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Abraham. all same name, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I just air pulled with him in the lobby, super, super rock solid hands, super strong hands. So, you mean, you mean when he pulled Todd Hutchings? Yeah, when he pulled Todd Hutchings. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, of course, I didn't get a chance to pull him on the table, or, but just, uh, just meeting him and just gripping up, I thought, oh my, my goodness, yeah, he's. Did this was after the event? Um, I think it was before. I think it was before that. Wow. Maybe we didn't do anything, you know, hard. I just, just uh -huh. like just a little bit of uh, feeling each other out. I'm like, damn. Um, wide, thick, strong, solid, woodsy-like hand. So, yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be an interesting match for sure. Okay, another one. This one, I don't know if you are familiar, but both are world champions. One is uh, Talgat Akdev, super fast hook puller, Kazakh puller, and okay. he, he 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 in twenty twenty two in Antalya he beat Oleg Zok in in okay. yeah in the final. And his opponent is Betkili Oniani. He also goes inside. Maybe you remember the first time you guys come here for the East First West. It was East First West 2. He also had a match with Oleg Zog, but Oleg top rolled him. And then he had a long fight with him this way, you know. Okay. But so, this Oleg is, this, so this is a left-handed match. Yeah, left-handed match, yes. At, at uh, what's the weight? These guys are 175, 165? No, no, no. These are, this is uh, 209. Oh, 209. Oh, big guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no ideas. I, I, I've been out of the left-handed. Uh huh. Okay. Let, let me let me go to the next one. I I knew that you wouldn't be so. Okay, Arthur Makarov versus Mindaga Sarasaitis. You remember Arthur? I don't. Arthur Ar Arthur Makarov is the one. Oh that yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat, beat I, the me. guy that won the, the pulled you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Pulled me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's he's gonna pull like until now. He always came up winning against uh, Tarasaitis. Okay. They they pull in three, four different events, and then Arthur always won. Mindagos just won one match, but at gotcha. the end he, he 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 took second place. But so is he defending his world title? Is he is he, he defending his, his title? The, the, the champion is right now Mindagos because Mindagos beat Dan, Daniel Prokopchuk, if you remember. Of course, of course. Yeah, but I wasn't yeah. sure if that was the weight class that they were going to pull at. Is he yeah, it was one sixty five, and now Arthur is coming here. And Arthur is the second guy in uh, Russia. He 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 gives tough matches to Alan Zolev, Hajim Zolev's younger brother. But okay. Alan, Alan beats him, you know. But Alan okay. right now is he's going military school. He cannot get out of Russia, okay. so we couldn't invite him. But uh, Arthur is coming, so we will see how it will be. One is going inside, sometimes even side pressure. Arthur and Mindagos, okay. as you know, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, very impressive what he did to Daniel. So I mean, I I, I gotta I gotta stick with him now that because he he uh, he proved me wrong um, with the you know Daniel match. So um, yeah, what, what what did you think about that match when you are watching after two rounds? I was like, wow, what a mismatch yeah. I was. Yeah, then, then he turned. It's funny. It's funny how things switch like that. Like I mean, as Daniel, I know I know he's in great shape because I pulled with him and he's he, he's made me give up. So I. Um, but maybe he's just, you know, more explosive. He's got that that type body type that just kind of, you know, drops down ten percent or so after a match or two. No, or maybe I, I maybe it's had the, Mindago said high knuckle, but the third round he was like more, you know, loaded yeah. everything. There was no empty space for the, yeah. uh, Daniel to go and Co combination of a lot of things, right? I mean, you, you yeah. could be mentally letting down, thinking that you've got it in the bag, and you're you're just gonna, mm -hmm. you know kind of cruise control and i i think even some of us probably go into that mode of you know letting out a little rope right like they they want to want to see if they can still win if they you know ease up a little bit and mm -hmm. sometimes it, it seems like that round three it seems like this yeah it, sometimes it bites you so but yeah. if you don't you know if if that's what you enjoy doing then you know you just gotta let them do it yeah okay 
Um, this one, you know Fia Rysek for sure, but huh? do you know e Ekaterina Nikisheva? No. Sounds you know, Russian. Yeah, she's also world champion, multiple Russian. times world okay. champion. Yeah, this is going to be another world title match. Okay, then, okay. This one, now change. Normally, Irakli and Oleg Petrenko, they were going to pull against each other. Okay. Normal, normally. But then okay. what happened that uh, Kedirgalo Ongarvev and Tatashings, it was set for Dubai, June 1st. Okay. The revenge. revenge. Okay, gotcha. And then uh, Tatashings had to join uh, Memorial the next day. He had to join what? The funeral, Memorial. Okay. We have, you know, funeral that you go. Okay, a funeral. Yeah. And, and there is a, me like, memorial, you know, like when... Memorial funeral, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to because it's a private thing, you know. Just, I don't I don't know. It's, it's just like, okay, I, maybe I say it's like his mother's memorial the next day. Okay. 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 Okay, so he cannot make it. We just check all the flies or something, they check it, and then he couldn't make it. So okay. he said that, Engin, I cannot make it. And okay. I said, of course, you know, like, and then there are, there are important things, more important things in this life, you know. So what we did, I was just thinking, uh, Petrenko was also asking a uh, title match against, uh, uh, he beat Barboza, he beat Chancho, he was like looking for Dadikian match. And then, so we thought that since Ongarbe is also looking for a title match, so we just removed Petrenko from Apple events to King of the Table events. Okay. And I said Sasha versus Irakli 95 kilo. Right. Yeah. yeah. And th this is world title match. World title yeah, match? Of yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. Because because Irakli is walking around six, 96, 97 kilo. He was going to yeah. pull 105 against Petrenko. And in fact, his category is uh, 95. But Sasha didn't answer me. He was late, you know. And then I said this match. And later he said he would pull him. And then okay. this was the thing. So we moved Petrenko there. And then Irakli and Sasha, they are going to pull. Normally they were set to pull July. But now it's going to happen in April. They both once. Gotcha. At at the world title, 95 kilos, which is 209. Yeah. 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 Did you know that they pulled? They pulled. Yeah, no, I've, I've seen their I've seen their matches. I mean, Erekli yeah. comes out of the gate hard and fast, and and, and kind of top rolled them. I think what the I think he won the first match or second match, right? First, first then, round he won, then he lost four rounds. Yeah. Four rounds. Yeah. Once he ran out of gas, it's it's tough to bounce back once you know with a minute and a half, two minutes rest between rounds. I mean, yeah. Um, and Erekli is a is is a race car, right? He's he's high f high fuel, you know, low distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sasha, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I, you know, it's hard for me to say. I mean, um, if it stops, I think Sasha for sure. But Arekle has looked so impressive, uh, so explosive against you know top guys. In fact, I, I, didn't I just see him smacking? In which I don't know what what the situation was. Yeah, he be, but, he, be, uh, he be Paul Lean, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. he be he be he Rustam Babaev, right. and then in a training match after Dave Sheffield match, he pulled a little bit with. Uh, Vitaly Lalesin, yeah. That's what I saw, yeah. That's what I was seeing. But yeah, so it's training, and you don't, you don't know what you know what kind of condition Vitaly was in. But yeah, no, he you, looks. You, you like, wouldn't bet. You wouldn't bet yeah, on Irakli if they would really pull. Yeah, no. yeah, fresh for fresh. Yeah, yeah. That, that tall arm would probably be very difficult for Irakli's move. But um, yeah, no, super, super excited, super impressive. Um, Where do yeah, you see the match? Who, who's who's going to put the belt on on that? Yeah, match? both of them are, are top top guys. I mean. They're, they're, Arakli is probably going to be a little more hungry, I would imagine. Um, yeah, I mean, they got experience against each other, so they should know what they're going to be up against. It's just all depends on who's, whose day it is. I mean, I won't even say who's more prepared because they're both completely, fully dedicated to the sport. So, uh, yeah, just depending on, you know, if they're if they're completely healed and, and the referees are kind to them and everything is, is a happy, you know, they got a good night's sleep. and. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You are saying that even little tiny yeah, details can make the difference. The, the, tiniest, the tiniest sway or something could happen, you know, somebody could yell on the crowd and it could change the whole dynamic of it. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> is it because is it because they are very close to each other? Oh, yeah. Super, yeah. Super, super close. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. but I, I do do believe that as soon as Sasha was able to figure out somehow to 
you know, slow the match down and, and get it stopped somewhere, um, then he'll he'll be the guy to be looking at for the for the later rounds, right? So Arakli is going to have to just stay focused and, and mean and vicious and clean and just be popping hard and, and you know staying fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so I have a question for you. Like you see the 105 kilo category, you see like there is Dadikian, there is Prudnik, there is Petro Maharin, there is Petrenko, even Iraqi can make that category. And and then you and Tatashings and the many others, you know. I don't remember like this one category being that competitive in the history. Like I think this is right now two categories that like incredibly like competitive. Yeah. One is 105, the other one yeah. is a super heavyweight. The so super heavyweight, look at now, Devon, Levan, Hermes, Jerry, Gennady, Denis Siplenko, Artem Morozov, Georgi Svetko, Laletin, Dizarano, Alex Kurdecha. You know, it, it's just like, like we in, in the past, there was like three, four guys, you know, in the conversation. Right. Now right. it's just, yeah. Very okay. tough. Of course, Levan is just like little. We will talk yeah. about it, but yeah, but yeah. there are a lot of really high level super heavyweights, you know. Right. Yeah. A lot of a lot of, a lot of contenders for sure. The contender yeah. contender category is very deep, um, and I agree with you. The 105 kilo, um, it'd be interesting to see those 10, 12, 14 guys. Um, maybe yeah. pull like a double elimination tournament just to see, because it would change things, right? I mean, a lot of the guys that. Could with super matches may, might come out a little bit better and, and one and done and sit down and then go to the next next round. So um, yeah, but yeah, no, I'm super I'm I'm super excited to see Kritigali pull Hutchins again. I mean, that's still on, right, for the king of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, no, 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 no. It is not. It is right now Petrenko versus Kritigali on Garbe. Oh, okay, Petrenko. Okay, oh, okay. That's, still, but, but, that's still a great match. Okay, still still yeah, awesome. Match. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. But listen. If, if the life still continues, you know, there is no nuclear war or something, these matches are going to happen, you know, <laughs> sooner or later. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. Good, good, good stuff. For yeah. sure, good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go to the next one. Do you... Are you familiar with uh, Leonidas from Germany? Do you remember he does usually the... Yeah, uh, so after... he's the bodybuilder. He's the guy yeah, that's pulled, he's uh, the one that beat, beat Larry Wills. In, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't have firsthand experience. I don't think we've personally ever met, but um, you know, I've seen some of his matches for sure. Super, uh, kind of, yeah. kind of yeah. like uh, Mike uh, 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 Aleo or Ale Mike. Yeah, just super strong upper body, big, big triceps. You know, uh -huh. like he does a lot of bench pressing, um, but obviously a good arm wrestler. And he's yeah, pulling. Yeah. Him. And he's pulling. He, he's he's gonna pull uh, schoolboy. Oh, okay. Papa, just just one Alex. second. I want I want to ask you something. You had a training with Larry Wills. Yeah, yeah. And Larry Wills also did something, you know, against Sanders. You know, it was like very. You remember that match? Also, I heard Larry Wills doing good at the training or something against uh, Derek Smith like this. So, and then whenever this Leonidas is beating. Larry, Larry, without losing any round, he's and he's legit. also getting uh, better and better. So, yeah. do you see like this guy is not like some people says that he's not like like full time master. He, he's not good. Is he? Is he? Is he the? Uh, is Alex going to be the favorite going in? In most people's mind, is he saying? Are people saying that um, he's not capable of even giving Alex a match? Is that? Is that what yeah, you're suggesting? Yeah, I mean, it looks like they, they, everyone says that, you know, like a schoolboy is going to just, I mean... Kill him? Wow. Yeah. Well, if, if schoolboy kills him, that, that's, that's a lot to, for schoolboy because um, Otherwise, I, feel, so. I feel like Larry's kind of, if I, you know, not careful at, at you know, my level. So and Yeah, if, yeah, 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 yeah. Being it is beat Larry, I mean, yeah, he's definitely capable. <laughs> so yeah. you, you are saying that this guy... If he somehow gets the match in yeah, the yeah, part, yeah. So it's going to all depend on the hand and wrist. I mean, Alex is definitely probably more aggressive and 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 technical as far as the top row goes. And so, I mean, but yeah, I mean, you never know. I mean, I, yeah, if it if it goes wrist to wrist, I, I I don't see why not. I mean, he's he's proven that he's strong as anybody. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah. Uh, Tall Paul Hutchins. He says Engin versus Brzing. One last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Last time we pulled, you know, in Norway, it yeah, was yeah. like none of my ever intention. The, you know, the organizer. Like he's like, Let, let's do it like a legend, something, you know. And I, I, I just had the bicep tear, and I was yeah. like, no, I mean, even if I didn't have the bicep tear, I cannot really do anything. The guy is just naturally. <laughs> you, yeah, no, you, with that. you impressed me, I, and I was probably 105 ish, 106, 107. I mean, if I had a yeah. diet to 95 kilos, I would have a hard time handling you again. It, it would be a serious <laughs> shit. It would be a yeah. You, a you told me the same thing after the match. You said that you said that like uh, you felt my pronator uh, tough. You know, I remember. Yeah, yeah you said yeah. 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 yeah, breaking your wrist was impossible. That was just my my ability of, of applying a lot of side pressure with keeping my hand high that was able to to overcome yeah. overcome you. But yeah, just just one round that you know I really started with the roll. <laughs> And I was like, you know, like normally, John, all my career, I, I was the hunter at the table. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'm the one that has the better coordination than the opponents. If they beat me, they beat me with so much raw power. You understand? <laughs> but whenever I did that, and then like I couldn't move. I couldn't move because if I hit with all pronation, with all my power, I would lose the wrist. Okay. If I would just try to concentrate your pronator, I would lose the pronator. So I was like, like this. No. And then I could I couldn't move anywhere like right. not little no, more. I, just... <laughs> I remember it was very awkward for me too. I was almost like I was doing like a little. The only thing that really worked was like a tricep press or some weird stuff that I just don't, yeah. you know, don't typically yeah. do. Yeah, but I, I can tell you, yeah, yeah. Your your coordination, the synergy of muscle group is just the, incredible. You just probably need a little bit shoulder, and yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm talking about the not about me, but the, about the. Your your category top guys, you know, yeah. Yeah, I just I just need to figure out how do you somehow get this uh, achiness arthritis under control. I, it, but yeah, just just, just, just just trust me. I'm not <laughs> teaching you anything. I don't have anything to teach you, but just a little bit but, more blood flowing, more blood activity, flow. Yeah, blood yeah. flow daily base, daily base blood flow with rubber bands, a little bit weights, but not heavy. Trust me, whenever it is moving. The, the pain will be gone. Now you have so much damage for like 40 years. Now you are not moving. So that, that thing is going to come uh, heavy. This, this is, But I will tell you something. Just you to destroy, not to destroy, but beat the best guy in your category is just you may lose to fifth place in your category if you are feeling bad. But there may, there may be a day that you may be feeling good just three months and you train at your best. Right. And then you can you can beat the best guy in your category. Yeah, no, it is totally because it's not it's not yeah. co constant. No. You understand? It's not yeah, constant yeah. how you feel. Yeah, no, I've, I have my good days, and as long as as long as mentally I can go into thinking that I have a chance that I can be competitive, then I'm going to say yes. I'm going to continue to to try. But um, mm -hmm. it's just it's just been more and more difficult to really put the, the proper. Um, effort into training because away from the matches, I mm -hmm. just like you know go out in the backyard and do whatever. It's it's like oh, I'm not going to do it just because I know. I mean, I have, a hard time, I have a hard time putting my jacket on in the morning, so it's like yeah. I ain't going out there because yeah. it's going to hurt. Yeah, just don't force yourself. Just just have the intention and do it when whenever you feel good. Boom. You don't feel good. Sorry, Engin. You know, like, yeah, but anytime you want to come here as a special guest, as a commentator, as an athlete, just all you need to do, I'm coming. I, you don't right. need to even, yeah. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, John, can you give me one second? The batteries. Emir, uh, sorry about it. Okay, let's go. The next match. We told, okay, Arsene Lilia, Brandon Assessor. All depends on Arson. I mean, um, Brandon, I'm sure, has still been training hard. I don't think he's ever probably, you know, backed away from the sport like Arson has. Um, but Arson, yes, is going to have more potential genetic ability. Uh, but Rand is no slouch. I mean, it's it's hard for me to even think or predict. I mean, um, 
Yeah. Is it possible at, you at, to know where, where he at, is? 11 at years. One, at 105? Yeah. At 105 kilos. Uh, yeah. No, it's not going to be an easy match for Arson, but I would suspect that Arson would be able to, you know, he's not going to be accepting matches if he's not in somewhat decent shape already. So I uh, imagine that um, I'd have to give the nod to Arson, but. Mm -hmm. But may, may, he be, may he be mistaken because he didn't do anything 11 years until Dennis versus Devon match. After that, till the new year, he did some cardio. And yeah. then by the new year, he started. So January, February, March, and then April, he's pulling. So, like, I'm just thinking, just imagine it one sub, one break. Like, yeah. can he have the endorphins against? Uh, no way. 11 years, no pulling. Three months, you're going to have the endorphins. So he better win quick otherwise yeah. brendan really may beat him you know yeah yeah no i i agree with all of that um yeah he, he's probably, probably gonna get a lot better match out of brandon than he's gonna get out of me <laughs> six months so he better be ready i mean he's he, he you know he's jumping in against decent guys so okay the question uh first i no okay first i'm gonna ask the question if you remember the time that you competed in Bulgaria and it was after your shoulder thing, you know, but, um, all oh, right, right. Yeah. I, I yeah. Remember. Do you remember his shape, Arsene's shape there? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. He, he, he went through <laughs> Todd Hutchins pretty easily that day. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think, do you think that Arsene at that shape could win today? 105 kilo. Like just think about just say, Darikian, Ongarbev, you know, other guys, you know. Do you what do you think his chance in that shape? I think he I would I wouldn't I would say he's just in the mix. I mean I David Darikan impressed me tremendously against Hutchins, and I know how ungodly strong Hutchins has gotten. Um, you know, then you've you've got uh, Evgeny Prudnik. I mean there's uh yeah, oh yeah, I, mean, I, as well. I don't know if I start thinking about everybody. I mean, he's he's right there in the mix, but yeah, yeah. You, you can never be sure, right? Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't put him like I wouldn't say, oh yeah, no, Arson, he could do it. He's he's going to be in for a little bit of a an awakening that the competition has definitely gotten a little little. So stronger. you are saying that possible, possible, but not sure. Possible, possible, but no, no, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have another question. This Darikian, he was one of five when he weighed in and, but this guy is dieting down from right. 260. That's what I heard. Yeah. So of course that when he is 260 and when he is 231, I mean, it, it cannot be the same when he's 260 probably is, you know, stronger because it's not almost 30 pounds, you know, like you yeah. cannot lose all of them by water, you know, right. you need to do diet and everything. What do you think that like, who do you think that would be, Right now in 253, Devon looks all alone, you know. And right. people complain, oh, why he doesn't defend his title. Like right. there are countless people that, you know, right. really looking forward. So do, what do you think that, you know, uh, Darikian at 253, yeah. like if, 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 if he's, he's just 30 pounds heavier or 20 he's, pounds he's, heavier. He's for sure the clear, clear contender to, to have a shot at Devon. And in... In my mind, I think he's got a lot of the correct attributes to possibly take a win or two off Devin, whether or not he could win six rounds. Um, but he showed extremely strong cupping ability. Um, and that Todd, Todd couldn't even go, Todd couldn't go step with him. No, yeah. And I then, mean, he just, yeah, he, he just also, he beat Iraqi yeah. like so easy. So, you know, so, he's, so he's, that, he's so that tells me that yeah. his hand and cupping ability is so powerful. And I think, well, that's the reason Devin's going to have a hard time with Levon. Levon is obviously probably the best copper uh, in the world. But, I mean, to be able to do anything with Devin, he's got that super long arm. You have to have that that hand and wrist and cup to be able to bring that arm down. If you can't, he's going to pronate you and, and, and bleed you. Um, David, is, David is one of the guys like Levon that is – Top, top. Yeah, for, top for, for in that category, category. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah so. and, and in 105, probably Prudnik versus uh, David would make the like, toughest match. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Prudnick, if it, if he can get the if he can maintain his wrist and get get it hook, he's I would say maybe even maybe a possible advantage. But yeah, he but would don't be don't you think that don't you think that if Tatachin's hook, uh, that can Prudnick can also do? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why Todd's hook failed him in that situation when Dada can surge like that because they seem to be kind of wrist to wrist. But it, it may be the fact that he was also kind of you know hooking mm-hmm. a little bit of a, a little bit of turn on the hand to flatten the hand out. But yeah, no, uh, yeah, no. Davis no slouch. I mean, he's not going to go down easy. If, if uh, no, no, if, no. But what I'm just saying uh, that if if Todd could put him in hook, Prudnik. Yeah. Probably would put that again in hook as well because his hand and wrist is even more. Oh, I don't know. That, that that kind of is so explosive. I mean, yeah, but, but Todd did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Todd, yeah, Todd was get, had, having to give up a lot to stop that. He was coming across the table and trying to, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh, um, uh-huh. yeah, he wasn't he wasn't beating them to the punch and keeping them on his side of the table. So. Yeah, de- no, definitely, uh, definitely a good match. I mean, right there is, you know, well, Prudence so already had Prudence Prudence already versus had a Dadikian, Prudence Dadikian, Devon Dadikian are the matches, yeah. right? Yeah, I agree. Correct. I agree. Correct. Correct. Okay, let's let's a few matches left. We talk about it. Michael Todd versus Frank Lamparelli. Frank is the one that pulled Matt Mask. You remember? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I mean, it's going to be. Different for Frank. I mean, I, 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 I'm going to feel for Frank. I think he's going to prob- probably get position off the go. I feel like he's super comfortable, has the wrist and control, and he's on his side of the table. I did the same thing. And then, yeah. and then, he, then he realized, this shit, this sucks. I'm in trouble. <laughs> so so, um, so we, we see the same thing. Yeah. He's having the control, but the yeah. finishing power, if he can do it, he can win. Can't if he cannot do it, then he will be in trouble. Yeah. So I mean, I can see the match going first two rounds to Frank, and then Michael figures out how to how to turn it around. And once he turns it around, it'll it'll be he'll have the the endurance and heart to be able to finish it. Okay, another, well, another great match. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you remember the guy Aydarhan Nurdalet Aydarhan? He pulled against Wala Ishkiti. He, he beat him sideways. The Kazakh guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's gonna pull this time against David Samushia. David Samusha is our seven-time champion, you know, yeah, the, yeah. the Georgian. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a uh, okay. I, this maybe for I world don't title. Know. Who who is the other? Who is the bigger guy that beat? Uh, was it Petrenko or who was it that the other the one? This, that this I, is one eighty-seven. Oh, okay, one eighty-seven. So smaller version of the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, David Samusha won all of his eighty-five kilo matches. He he got two two belts for for permanently, and he's uh-huh. also holding a belt with one win. Okay. And so now he's gonna pull against Aydarhan. But if you couldn't remember, then yeah, no, maybe I don't remember him then. Yeah, but okay. Georgi Svet- Georgi Svetko versus Alex Kurdecha. Alex looked so good the last match. So well, so did jo- uh, Georgie. Um, just another great match. I have no, <laughs> no real prediction on that, or no thoughts on how that one would go. Um, I mean, George has definitely proven that he can fight with even the best. I mean, Devin, as far as the back pressure and the hand control and going outside, uh, I don't, I don't see uh, Alex trying to hook him. So his move, his strength is going to be something I think Georgie can deal with. So I just see, I see that just as a outward, both outward pulling stalemate, for, and then whoever can outlast the other. I, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a flash match. Um, it'll, it'll be one of them, boom, boom, stuck in the middle, fighting for the hand grip in the strap, I suspect. I mean, I, neither one of it, to me, has, has been, you know, has shown anything inside, so I don't see it see it going there. I have a question for you. July, East versus West 13. I said Jerry Cadoret versus Vitaly Laletin. People, people think that Vitali is going to smoke him. Do you also think that way, or people says that Vitali's hands so strong that Jerry cannot go? But Jerry is not gonna sleep this way. Jerry is gonna, you know, right, right. Yeah, it's very hard to hold it this way. So, 
Jerry, 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 Jerry is going to quickly put Vitaly's arm in a bad position at, at an angle. Vitaly relies on his, his size, his height. Talking um, about strap or Vitaly's strap? Uh, it'll, it'll have to go the strap. Jerry's not strong enough in the hand to So you drag. are saying that Vitaly, with outside move, he cannot flash Jerry? In the he, would have to do it, he would have to do it and study and do it correctly and, and be um, committed to pulling more sideways than he's probably used to. He's probably, you know, if he, if he falls into the trap of thinking that he can stretch Jerry out by pulling backwards, I think mm -hmm. he can get himself into some trouble, some serious trouble. But um, if he stay, stays tall and relies on, on coming forward a little bit more than going backwards, mm -hmm. um, then, then I think he's going to have a, a better chance to beat Jerry. But yeah, Jerry's one of the few, few styles that is going to, you know, shut down those tall arms if they don't play their cards right. You know, if Vitelli doesn't do the right things and, and talk to the right people and, and um, you know, an instinct's going to take over. He's going to want to do what feels normal to him and what he's done his whole life. So it's going to be hard to, to convince him differently that don't do that with Jerry. <laughs> But um, he'll learn. Uh, he'll get the experience, and it'll be a, it'll be a great match. <laughs> listen, listen, you say, listen, whenever you say he'll learn, it sounds like he's going to lose. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say he's going to lose, but I think he's going to realize he's in for a lot tougher match than he expected. John, you, I know you like to gamble. Bet. Yeah. You know, I, I know. You have $100. Where is it going, that money? Between Vitaly and Jerry? Yeah. Oh, man. I'd have to go with my countryman. I'd have to go with Jerry. I mean, I, I think I think it, it's going to be really ugly. Um, but Vitaly is susceptible to getting shoulder pressed. I've seen it. You know, he didn't. it didn't happen this last time with Dave, but I know that it's – I can see it in my mind that it's a possibility. And it's just – I guess it depends on who shows up. They're both – so unpredictable as far as, I mean, Vitaly is looking, just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And it just depends on how, how strong Jerry is. I mean, if Jerry comes in like he did against Hermes, then, you know, I mean, did, you, did, you, did you, did you, did you, but listen, Hermes really pulled low and he, he pressed with this side of his hand. Her, Hermes, so, yeah, Hermes, it was did really smart. The, yeah. Hermes did the right things. Yeah. So but I, I, I'm not sure if Vitaly has the same ability of this one. His Correct. arm is gonna move. I don't think in three, four months he yeah. can he can build here. You know. No, I mean all he is, but Vitelli's somewhat built like Devin. If he just watches videos of how Devin's been able to handle Jerry recently, um, I but think he he could figure it out. Yeah, he doesn't need to press like tricep press, but he needs to he needs to stay stand tall and stay forward and and, and uh. force the issue sideways into Jerry's arm, so he can't he can't you know get that angle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, okay, Nate Balantin says we need to see more of John. Whenever he's ready, we are not going to put any pressure on the goats. Whenever he is our treasure, you know, whenever he's ready, the doors are wide open. So whenever he's not ready, we are not going to put pressure on him. Right, okay, cool. Yeah. Are, are you still, is it, uh, you said July for our East West versus West. Istanbul and the August is Florida. Okay. We need so, to make a we need to make a dream team. North American uh, uh, dream uh, team. Devon, uh, John, Michael Todd, you know, Todd Hushings. We need to make Okay. Oh. So is, is is this what is this East versus West in July it gonna be mainly an East qualifier before we, you're gonna send this team to Florida in the following <laughs> month or is that is that in, what I mean? in, in, in July we have the East qualification uh, all, all those qualification events in Europe. And then okay. the finals will be there, and okay. then, and then. But the, I think the West qualification is uh, April twenty seventh in Florida. So when you say East versus West thirteen, it's not really going to be East versus West tournament in Istanbul. No, 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 no. It will be East versus West super match. But day okay. before, day before, okay. there will be the qualification event. The, okay. the winners from Switzerland, Italy, Latvia, all those countries, they will okay. come. The winners will be invited later for the super match. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And the Florida August will be East versus West fourteen. Yeah. And you're, okay. and you're doing that. You're doing that at the end of the month, end of end of August. Like something like seventeen, because in the one week later is Waffles. 
Okay. Yeah, I hope it works with you because it's, it's very. I've got. Yeah, no, that might not work for me because I've got my houseboat um, vacation. I think like the thirteenth through the thirteenth through the twentieth. So I might have. Yeah. Been, I'm able. To, I might be able to rest until like November. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, let, let me think about it. I just don't want to put on the same date with uh, what, but um, we can talk about it. Okay, this one is important. Hermes Gasparini versus Alijan Murado. That's the that's that's the Kazakhstan that I was thinking of that I met in the recent. That yeah. is, is a yeah. monster, is a powerful yeah. beast. Um, I don't know. So I, we all know that he's like the best, just crushes anybody and everybody left handed, but is his right arm just as good? Is it gonna be right arm, right? Or is it left arm, left arm, right arm Hermes would I would destroy him, you know. Destroy him. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this yeah. is a left hand left handed match? Left hand, yeah. Er Hermes, yeah, his left arm is also very good. And this guy is just going in. You yeah. know, he's not attacking like Morozo did to Hermes's hand. And Hermes was kind of exhausted after Dave Sheffy match. Yeah. And, and so I'm sure that Alijan horsepower stronger, but I don't think that Alijan has ever meet as technical guy as the back uh, yeah, yeah, like the you know speed and you know, I mean you can apply the same power, but if you are like more yeah. coordinated and explosive, yeah. you know, I don't think that Hermes is any slower than Alijan, so I really don't know where it's gonna. Hermes says he's gonna be two hundred eighty six pounds. Oh. And he, sa he says that because he's getting ready for Dennis in June. Okay. So okay. He, he says that there is no way a 230 pound guy is beating him. He says he's, okay. he's going to do pronation <laughs> training and okay. then send him home. You know, this better, is what he says. Better record that for, for if we can play it back. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Hermes is going to lose. I, well, I just, yeah, I mean, I. I, I, I'm, I'm, I guess I haven't been as much of a fan and follower of Ermi's left hand as, I, as maybe I should, but um, the other guy has definitely been super impressive. Every time I've seen him pull, I was like, oh, my my lord, is anybody going to be able to stop him? So, Yeah. So who Great. is winning? Uh, I, hate to, I would hate to ever vote against Ermi, so I won't say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you so basically are saying Alijan is gonna beat him. Yeah, I mean, I, I in my mind and my you know thinking that boy, he's he's you know until until he stops, I gotta I gotta go with the you know the, that train going in that direction. It's he's got the momentum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's come to the the last one and the main one. Mm. Devon Larat versus. Levon Levon. They they both uh, obviously are looking like they're taking it very seriously. I'm, I was a little worried about Levon, you know, what his condition would be, you know, after the injury. But he's looking bigger. I don't know what his weight is, but he looks bigger than he's ever looked and lifting more than he's ever done. So, uh, and Devin, to me, I don't know. He doesn't look like he's... I mean, he's still what four weeks out, five weeks out. He hasn't six, he hasn't six, shown six he hasn't, out. Yeah, he hasn't shown quite the fire that I've seen um, him have in the in the past. So I'm a little worried that maybe he's no. maybe he's figured he's figured out a combination that he's you know feels really comfortable and he's yeah, yeah, at his strongest. Uh, I mean, the last time that you know I saw him and pulled with him, he's he just keeps getting stronger, and I know he's motivated to you know. To do anything and everything that he possibly can to to be victorious, but um, the last video I saw, he said, I think if I didn't misunderstand, he said, Levan, you might not get even one round. Is what he said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he. I mean, he knows what to expect now. I think, and um, you have to give it. Devin is gonna, you know, I'm sure he's ever since their last match, he's analyzed every aspect of it. Um, even if they both come in at the same, exactly the same people that they were in the last match, mm -hmm. I, I think I, I, the situation. I mean, as long if Devin doesn't get hurt the first round, I mean that that could have com completely played out completely different. I mean, um, everybody said, "Oh, Lebron was so dominant, dominant," but I mean, all it takes is just a little tiny bit or a little change up, or you know, 
or not getting hurt or maybe not, you know, um, having it, you know, be manipulated a little bit more or whatever. And that, that could have, that match could have changed. So, yeah, but John, I'm not going to be surprised either way. John, like you remember their match and then remember the, he beat Prudnik and then Sandris and the, 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 the match happened and then Dave Sheffy and then Hermes and Dennis and Georgi Svetko. To me, it is not the same Devon that pulled Levan. A- after this, because you and I, we didn't have so many stem cell therapies. I had only one. I don't know how many you had, but this guy had like maybe 15 different therapies. And yeah. I saw with my own eyes, I was in Dubai, one of the rounds he did with the start, flop wrist press directly to Dave Sheffy. Like normally with his elbow condition and everything, he, he shouldn't be able to do that. You understand? No. So right now, if you realize he's closer, you remember he was like more like this every match. Look, right. look at his last matches. You know, right. Georgi match, he was a little bit extended. But other than that, with Dennis match, he was close. Hermes match, he, he was close. So right. I don't think that we see the same Devon. And about the physical strength, he told me that with his, you know, the, the pronation lift, he did 135 last time he pulled Levan. That's what right. he told me. Right. And now he's doing 160, so it's almost 20% more. So right. that risk that risk of Levan will have 20% more pressure, most likely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, and he, and he was injured, you know. Levan, yeah. Levan was injured. I don't know how, how much he recovered, but we will see. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you're, I mean, that's going to be the match. It's not going to be how strong Levon is, side pressure or upper arm strength or elbow, or it's going to be his cupping ability. Can Devin's back pressure and pronation be stronger than Levon's cupping? And yeah. if, if it is, Devin will win. If it's not, um, Levon's going to turn Devin's hand up right, and he has he has plenty of strength to beat him if, if that happens. So um, yeah. if that's to me, is the match. If Devin can maintain this, he's good. Yeah. He gets this, he's bad. <laughs> okay, the qu- question is, the question is, after Levan's injury, do you think that it is possible him to be even stronger than before? Or the best thing he can do is the same condition a- after that injury? Only he knows that. I mean, if he still lingers a little bit and he's had to pull back a little bit, I mean, or, you know. But, but do, you, do, you believe, do you believe that, do you believe that Levan's, Levan's risk from that time to this time would improve could 20%? Be, could be could be stronger could be a lot stronger i mean he's had the stem cells and he's had uh, plenty of time to to recuperate and i mean you know what doesn't kill you normally makes you stronger right isn't that the saying so, do you, so, so you are saying that is it possible like if, if they would improve here 20 percent do you think that levon also could improve 20 percent the risk yeah yeah of course yeah I, I I don't believe that the risk can go that that much. Of, I, there needs to be something that yeah. really is something special because Levan was already like up to his top, 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 top shot, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, because the Devon is changed because of the his injuries are fixed. I will tell you something. Most of our problems are because we are not able to use some of the the parts because we are injured. But when those parts come, you know, it, it just gives you sudden not hormonal power, but because right. you are healthier. You understand? And then I kind of think that I kind of think that Devon's back pressure and pronation improved more than Levan's risk. This is what I believe. So yeah. even if it is ten percent more, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah. No, it's but he still has to deal with the, the size issue, right? I mean, yeah. even with even with Devon's new strength and ability, he had a hard time with Georgie. I mean, so it I don't he's yeah, uh, he's going to still have to play the endurance card, right? I, I don't mm-hmm. see him having that much strength to really put that big of a man in a bad position off the go. He's going to have to be calculated and, and get in a good spot and and and, and wait him out. Um, yeah, it's going to be I, good. I, I, I don't know if, if, if Devon Devon's preparation, which is four weeks after the Dennis match for for Georgi match. I don't know his preparation for that match was as much as his preparation that right now he's having for uh, yeah. Levan, like mentally, physically. Yeah, yeah you understand? Yeah. But, so, I, but you know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't see things like that. Like I don't see somebody getting out of shape in two, three weeks, four weeks after a real hard preparation. In fact, from my experience, 
hard preparation, a hard, you know, six months, year, two years of preparing for somebody normally doesn't show the benefits until five, six months after that match has ended. Right. So, I mean, arm wrestling is kind of a, a weird thing in that respect. It's not like weightlifting. I think you get a lot of your, your gains months after, you know, a hard preparation. Just my, hmm. my so, 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 who, so who's winning this match in, in your, um, I just hope it's a good match. I and it should be a good match. I mean, there's. Um, I just hope. I hope we don't get, you know, let down with a, you know, an injury after the first round. I hope it ends up. We end up being able to see the second round, the third round, and both of them in still good fighting Healthy. condition. Yeah. yeah. So if that yeah. happens, how, how how do you see Devon's chance? Like, just I mean, oh, compare more, 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 more rounds. The, the more rounds Devon can go and still be in a fierce, healthy spot, um, the more advantage he's going to have. I mean, uh, we all seen Levon's, you know, um, you know, having to have oxygen and suck air, you know, at the king of the table with Ermi. So, I mean, it's, it's hard, it's hard, no matter what kind of great shape you're in to be pumping, you know, proper blood through a body of Levon's size. So, uh, the longer the match goes, um, yeah, for sure. Devin's going to have the advantage in that respect. So just tell me clearly who is winning this match, like or or who has the more chance. Just give me at least some percentage that I could understand you better. Fifty <sighs> fifty. <-50? laughs> I mean, I'm going to be. I'm going to be this, rooting this, this, for. This, yeah, this I'm, I'm not going to go on a limb and say, "Oh, Devin's going to like I did last time." I just, I, I mean, in respect. Just out of respect for Levon, I, I, the, the guy's the, the man, right? I mean, he and he looks like he's ready for this match again and he's training and 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 big and strong and so um he's probably got to have to be the favorite um mm -hmm. this case i guess i'm gonna root for the underdog i'm gonna root for Devin. i i think it, i think it'd be fun for arm wrestling um not that he's not already the champion in numerous classes but uh just to shake things up a little bit and you know. yeah but that, that, that's what you want Yeah, yeah. I want just pure mind answer. Is I did, it I just, because I, I, did you know I that? Kinda did, I kind of did in a, in, a, in a roundabout way. I I feel like Levon is still probably going to be, unless proven wrong, he's got to be still a favorite. I'm not going to say the strong favorite. I'm going to say the favorite, especially in the early rounds. Like 55, 45 or something? No, not even that. Yeah, yeah okay, 55, 45. Sounds good. I, I'm not really yeah. clear on the, the percentages thing, but okay. um, as long as as long as Devin can make it to the second and the third round without you know having to change his whole game plan because he got got a, you know tweaked, um, I'm not going to give up on him even after the, you know the second third round. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because Dennis and uh, I think Lalechin said that he would bet on uh, Devon, and and yeah. Dennis Dennis also thought that there is possibility Devon to win, if I'm not mistaken. So and you are saying that it is close the fifty five forty five or something. Yeah. So so you <laughs> are not like one of those that you know Devon doesn't have any chance at all. Yeah, no, I mean, and I and I haven't I haven't seen or hung out with Devon to to to, to understand even what he is progressed into since the last time I saw him, which is shoot, maybe almost six months ago or so. I mean, so it's, yeah. um, it's hard to say just going based on what I'm seeing in his matches, he's definitely gotten more, more and more dominant, but everybody's a little different and Levon definitely is a, a different animal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I talk with Devon all the time and he, he is, he has plan. He has plan. He has confidence. And, yeah. And he's already about Dennis shape, Dennis match shape. And he's, Planning to make everything in this last six weeks to get stronger, but yeah, yeah. If, any, if anybody's got it figured out, I'm sure Devin's got it figured out as, as far as timing and, and being able to, you know, rest properly. I mean, that's that's the, you know, the downfall of a lot of, of a lot of new arm wrestlers. They they want to get that little extra in before a match, and that you think that that little extra training is going to make you know make the difference and and across mm -hmm. that line and, and doing you know, doing damage instead of, of Of being well prepared, but I, I think Devin Devin's got it figured out, so he'll he'll be in top form for sure. I understand. Okay, John, thank you very much for your very valuable very time. So it's good talking to you, Ingen.
Yeah, thank you. And uh, keep in touch, keep in touch, my friend. We will, we will just uh, do something about August. We need to do it. We, it it cannot right. happen. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. I need to start getting back in touch with arm wrestling. I haven't really been watching very many even videos on the subject, so I'm a little bit out of touch. But um, I'll get yeah. back into into the swing of things and spend some time. Yep. yep. It will be great, yeah. All right. Yeah. Take care, my man. Thank you. Thank you. you. Take care. Talk Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for uh, following the podcast, and hope to be with you guys with uh, other uh, guests. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for your support, and you all take care of yourself.